Hey guys, it is me, Percy. Welcome back to my channel. It's really good to see you guys back. Um, today, I'm going to do a really quick fire tutorial for you guys on how to edit pre existing collisions inside of Red Dead Redemption 2 um, for Red M. Um, so, this specifically will help um, people who are perhaps um, wanting to open up MLOs in spaces that already exist. Um, so this wouldn't really um, be applicable to people who are making their own exteriors and interiors. Um, it would, for example, be if, say, um, this is my example here, this is the side of the Saint Denis doctor's office, um, we wanted to open up this space, but obviously um, we have collisions, there's also nothing behind this, but I want to open it up. Um, so I'm going to show you guys how to locate those collisions and how to edit those collisions um so stay tuned um it's going to be a really quick but i'm going to try and make it as concise as possible for you guys and also super easy to understand um because i personally want to see as many people um and many people out there that want to be creative be creative from red M, um and see how you guys do firstly i will show you how this is going to look when we're done with it all right, and while this is loading in, I just want to preface, this is not something that I'm currently focusing on. I actually haven't worked on this in a while, um, this particular um, space. Um, but this is probably the best example I can give considering that the collisions are the most complicated ones. So I want to show you that how complicated they can be um, so that you're prepared. Um, so. I'm going to show you, so here we go, obviously I have not focused on this, there is no texturing, our textures are not here, they're missing, we removed a few things, um, but you can see here we've cut this open and actually inside of here we have our MLO space and we've removed the collision and we're able to be in here. Obviously it's untextured so the lighting is horrific, we look like a ghost in the sunlight. Um, but we have cut it open and we have our space here ready to go um, if I'm going to work on this in the future. Um, but that's the most important thing. So basically we cut the hole in it. I'm not going to focus on editing the models at the moment. That's not what the focus of the video is. But we removed the collision on the doorway. That's the most important thing and that's what we're going to focus on. So removing the collision in the doorway and also um, the collisions inside here if there were any. So the collision in the doorway is the most important thing we're going to focus on today because we're obviously opening up the building. Um, so we're going to go ahead and focus on that. We also opened that one up there. Um, I'll actually see if it works. Um, I don't know if I did. I haven't opened this project in a few months. So sorry if I'm not super clear on it. This one should also work. Yeah, so this one's clear too. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to show you guys how I found those collisions for that particular building. Um, Saint Denis has so many buildings, hundreds of buildings. Um, so this is the more complicated one because there are so many collisions present in Saint Denis, um, be it internal ones, external ones, that sort of thing. So I want to show you um, how you would find these here. Now, you want to stay a reasonable distance away. This is how we're going to locate our collision. Um, it's not like a matter of flying in on the building and finding the collisions on each particular building. Most of the time, especially in big cities like Blackwater and Sandity, it's all done in chunks. So Sandity, for example, I know that I'm pretty sure if I zoom in here a little bit, um, that's the church here, the cathedral church. And I know that across the road right there is probably the doctor's office. So I'm going to right click this. We get the name of the Y map. That's the one that we actually want to focus on. So we're going to search this here. And now we have all of these static collisions to work from. So this is what I mean with tedious because now with every single one of these collisions, you're going to have to go through them and find the one that links to the doctor's office. Now, um, I would recommend only loading in one or two at a time in Blender. Now, I know that sounds super frustrating, um, but if you've got a shitty computer like me, it's going to be the best thing. Um, to avoid crashing blender if you've got a pretty good computer you can probably load in a couple at a time um, i know my friend elements loads in like four or five at a time sometimes if he's lucky um, but i'm gonna go ahead i already know which one it is it's actually one of the lower ones down here i'll go ahead and show you what it looks like and how we're gonna edit it okay so i have the particular name of the one that we want um i would grab all of these here um so this is the the names of the particular one um you would just export it toss it in a folder and you should be good to go and then what you want to do is open your blender and import those bad boys in be patient 
only load in one or two at a time if you have a shitty computer <laughs> like me um if you have a better one as i say you can probably do a couple at a time um but because we know which one's which we're gonna load them in Okay, so when they're loaded in a blender, you're going to see these like really strange blue lines and I'm sure that's going to be very confusing. Um, now what we're going to do is expand here in our finder, I call it finder, I know it's not. Um, and what we're going to do to focus on what we need is just open, expand one of them here and then just press F. Okay, so as I said, remember it is gigantic. It's probably going to lag, it's going to be a little bit saucy. But as we can see here, looky, it's our uh, doctor's office. And this one is fairly simple because we've got a door and you can see here, this is the door that we wanted to open. This one will already be um, open here. This is like a horse collision, um, but this is the one we want open. So just to preface, do not delete any collisions. Deleting them is going to cause errors. It's not going to load properly. It's going to be janky, that kind of thing. All you want to do is modify it. If you want to remove something, you simply sync it below the map. So we want to remove the store, we're just going to pull it right under the mat. Same with say if we wanted to do the top floor, if we wanted to open windows, that sort of thing. But we just want to open this door here. So we're going to go ahead and save those um, and export them. And you want to follow the same process as what I did in my um, custom object tutorial. You're going to open them into Code Walker, then you're going to um, convert them in Radium. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I will link that part. It's a very detailed um, explanation in my last video, um, but I want this one to be quick. <laughs> so um, I will link that below if you need to do, know exactly what to do to convert it to get into Radium. Um, all right, so let's move on. I'll show you, go ahead and show you one more example as to finding, say over in Blackwater, we'll go ahead and say we want to open up that really cute bakery in Blackwater that I really want to open up one day, um, but we want to load in just a smidge away. We'll right click, you can see here that this is the name of it here. It also includes, oh no, it's all good. So we'll, we'll grab this here, this is the name of the lard, we'll open it up here, and then you're probably going to get all of these static collisions. You're going to export them out and find which one lines up with that super cute bakery that's on Main Street, which I believe is um, this one here. So I'm going to just show you this for um, example's sake. So I'm going to go ahead and export all of these out. Okay, so I was able to locate the collision. It took a while, I was actually able to lo uh, load in all of these, it took a bit. <laughs> so we can see here, this is the main street. I notice this is the saloon, this is the theatre, and this little baby here is our uh, bakery. So I'm going to just quickly expand this here. So by a simple click, we're able to distinguish which one this belongs to. So we can see here it belongs to the eighth one. We were so close. <laughs> so what we're going to do here is we're going to work on the eighth one here. Um, so what you want to do, so these particular like really thin walls here, I just want to express what they are. They're actually um, horse collisions. So whether or not your horse can go inside or not. Um, I don't know too much about them. That is what I was told by one of my really dear friends, um, Elements. Okay, so I believe, if I remember correctly, this is like an alleyway. Um, yeah, I think it is. So this is the door um, just behind this here. So we're going to go ahead and find that. So we can actually see there is a collision box behind this, um, which is very interesting. I'm going to lower. So so once again, you don't want to delete anything. You just want to push it below the world. That's all you want to do. And as we can see here, sorry, everything's going really slow. I'm going to go ahead and find... I'm gonna keep the the horse collisions because I don't think we need horse in the bakery. <laughs> We're gonna pull this down under the mat too. Um, as you can see, that's opened up, so we should be good in theory. I'm just gonna have a look behind. Perfect. So this is actually all opened up. Okay, and say for example, um, just for example sakes, you wanted to open up this top door um, because you want this balcony accessible, um, because you're actually going to make this two stories or something like that. Um, you can actually modify the size of things, so um, the collisions can be adapted. 
but they cannot be removed so we just say we squish this so that this side is open and if you wanted to say open the second door as well you just copy and paste this collision and you can actually build with pre-existing collisions you just can't delete them so you can resize them you can copy and paste them that kind of thing and that would work too if you wanted horses to be go able to go inside of like everywhere you can actually lower this entire part into the ground um but that's up to you if you really want to do that um but yeah so that's all open um you can uh sync them modify them and um copy and paste them do not delete them Cool. All right, guys, that was my like super quick tutorial. Um, if you guys want help, I do offer help in my Discord. I am a little bit slow. I am a one woman show. Um, but yeah, come along to my Discord if you need any help. There's also a really good, good community of developers there that will help each other. So if I can't get there, there's so many people that'll help. Um, but thank you guys so much for coming and having a look and good luck. I really, really want to see your creations. So let me know if it helped um, and feel free to ask me any questions below. All right, bye guys.